Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. A few weeks ago, we looked at the brand new Simplicity patterns, and today we're gonna be going over the new, new look patterns. So, let's get started. So, new look. We have got a cute little shift dress. A very cute little shift dress. This with the lace overlay is adorable. Um, let's see what we have in the way of shaping. No shaping. Oh, so we've got a little bust dart here, but like I need some fisheye darts here. My because I am pear shaped, I have to cut a size usually like two or three sizes bigger in my hips than my waist. So I have to usually always add fisheye darts to pull in the waist a little bit and give myself a little bit more shaping so this doesn't look tent like they're not very hard to add but it's just always nice when they're there I mean they look good on any body type um so it's a little disappointing when they're not already included but I do like the high neck and all these overlay details so that might be worth working with um Oh, here's a cute little peplum dress. What do y'all think of that one? It's a little dated. Are we still doing peplums over skirts? I don't know. Cap sleeve. Princess seams are nice, though. And, like, you could always, like, leave the peplum off or extend the length of the peplum and then leave this skirt off if you don't have a dress that's already similar to this one with the, uh, <laughs> she looks so sad. Like someone just left her with her flowers. Um, if you don't have something already with princess seams and sleeves and a little notched neckline. All right. This girl looks really cute. Dress or top, it says. Okay, I like the tie sleeves, this version here. I would definitely add these little straps, just personal preference. Um, but yeah, I like this little detail. That's cute. How is C and, oh, they're both C's. Why do they do that? I guess just to show you that it can go on a printed fabric? Oh, I guess. And this has this little neckline thing. I don't know what I, I don't know what I think about that. I guess depending on, I don't know. Maybe it could be cute. <laughs> Maybe it could work. Let's see her in some other pictures. Yeah, that's adorable, you guys. I really like that one. I really like that one a lot. Um, here's just, I guess, just easy woven tops, which, I mean, we could all use some woven tops. I feel like the length on these new look ones are much better than Simplicity. Um, but if you don't have a basic top pattern, um, this, is, this is one for you. It's got some angled um, bust starts, which are very flattering. Um, you could really perfect the fit of this and then use this almost as a sloper for, I mean, all kinds of other stuff. This is a really great, like, base pattern that you could, I mean, infinite possibilities with this pattern. Do y'all want to see her posed a little bit more? Oh. There you have it. Okay. What do we have here? Cute little pants and a skirt. Pants without a waistband. And they're the, these are the same. And then we have a long pencil skirt, super chic, and then a knee length pencil skirt, which looks adorable on her. Also, she has like no hips. No hips. Um, let's see. That's a really cute skirt. 
Again, pretty basic, but still very cute. Again, one of those ones that you could just like really focus on making it really well made and have like a perfect skirt. Okay. Whoa. Hold please. Bomber jackets. I still to this day have not been able to find a bomber jacket with a button placket, which I know is not hard to add, but again, like there's already like a gajillion patterns. Like why don't they have one that's just a little bit different than all the other ones with a button placket, but say la vie. It is what it is. Um, for what it's worth, this is adorable with the floral, um, and the little knit waistbands. Um, and then the variations look like contrast body and sleeves and this and this are the same. So really no variations other than fabric choice. I don't know. Do most of them have the raglan sleeve or are most of them set in sleeves? I don't know. Is this an interesting detail? I'm not sure. I'm not too familiar with um, bomber jackets. Look how cute though. I love that. Love that outfit. The whole thing. She looks so cool. And she is feeling herself. She knows she looks cool. All right. Oh, I could dig this. This is, what are they calling? Just separates. Okay. I kind of love this. Is this called a cocoon? Cocoon coat or cardigan or something? I love that. I don't know that I would have gone for such like in your face Asian fabric. It's a little bit obvious, but this whole outfit is really kind of cool with the, you know, drapey pant and the basic tank. And then this is like the whole pop here. I like that. Let's see. So yeah, this is how that coat is constructed or the cardigan or whatever you want to call it. Um, very, very basic, but when you put it on, it looks, I don't know, the drape really, um, accentuates the fabric or the um, pattern a lot. Then we've got some basic elasticated pants with side pockets and then a basic tank. I love a good separates pattern. I mean, these might take some work to fit me, but, um, or, you know, just put them with jeans or something. This is super cute. Let's see here a little bit more. Oh, fun. Look at that. I love that. With the high heel, that's really cute. Digging these new looks. Okay, now we've got a little athletic set. Um, we've got a tank top and some leggings with contrast side panels. So really it's just two pieces shown in a solid and a print. And then these are the same as well. I think this is mesh. And if you haven't seen, they are putting see-through mesh in all of the leggings these days. Um, I think it's quite flattering. Let's see uh, some more pictures of her. Again with the princess seams down the front. Very low cut here. Um, so your sports bra would show. That's really cute, I think. The color story is also, <laughs> that also helps a lot. I think those are cool. I like that. All right, what now? Children's, girls, here's some more misses. I feel like there are a ton of patterns in this release. My goodness. Are all of these new or, I mean, they're new to me for sure. All right, we have got, is that a gingham seersucker? That's adorable. Just a little off the shoulder with a little ruffle cuff or a little ruffle sleeve. Cute. Sweet, sort of basic. Um, this probably never stays down. But that's okay. 
sweet, right? This looks a little sloppy. It's just a lot of little elastic. <laughs> All right, maxi, oh, they're calling this a gown, AKA maxi dress. Let's see what we've got. So it's just a little ampere waist with under bust darts and then princess seam skirt. Wow. I mean, it's really cute in this rayon chalet. I'm assuming that's what that is. It doesn't look like too fancy to me at all. Um, I would wear this anywhere, anytime. Oh, look at the back details. Now, why did they not show that on the front? Huh, okay. Um, we've got a, oh, so like if you were going to make it into a nighty, um, there's a lace inset. We've got this crisscross detail. Hard to tell whether that's ribbon or cording or self fabric or what. And then we've got a sweet little bow. But this is definitely going to show your bra strap. So you wouldn't be able to wear a bra, but maybe you could sew in cups here if this is lined. Um, they're not super great about um, describing the patterns on the envelopes. Wow, look at this yardage. <laughs> it's really pretty though, I think. I think that would be a stunning, stunning look. Let's look at her modeling them. I wanna see the back. Oh, you still can't see. But see how your bra would come right here normally? Beautiful. I don't get how that helps sell the pattern at all. Great pick of her though. What else? Okay, halter dress. Been a while since I've seen a halter dress. This is very reminiscent of the swinging 60s. I guess that may be the point. Um, very full skirt, deep midriff band here. Um, very modest V-neck. Let's see the back. Yeah, high back. I'm guessing this is hook and eye, but I'm not 100% sure, or button or something. It's cute. I could see myself in a halter again. Yeah, buttons, covered buttons, or buttons with loops. That's really sweet. It's too bad that wasn't available for the royal wedding. So along. No. Let me scroll down. It didn't keep up with me this time. Where were we? Oh, we were at the end anyways. Okay. Last page. We've got a dress in two links. Okay. So again, Princess seam, square neckline with sleeves. Um, oops. You can either, I guess both of these are full circle skirts. A, B, C, they're all just different lengths. Interesting. I mean, the square neckline is really the only thing that differentiates this from like all the other fit and flare dresses that I have. I have some with a circle skirt already um, and princess seams. So you could easily just hack this from any neckline that you've got. So I don't think I would need to buy that one, but it is nice to see that as an option. Okay, we've got a really cute knit jumpsuit and dress like super cute. Oh, but they don't have it modeled on a real person. I hate that. I need to see it on a real person, not on this drawing of a person. I like to see how it fits here in real life. And also like this leg looks really narrow. Like, is it super skin tight and then flares out? 
Like, where's her leg in here? You don't know because she's not real. Huh. Bummer. It looks really narrow. Like, it's a little skin tight. But you could widen the leg. No big deal. Oh, and it's a wrap with dolman. That's interesting. Well, we can look at the drawings one by one. Cute idea. Cute idea. Okay, keyhole shirt. Oh, the keyhole shirt. I actually have some like this already, but um, it's more like this one actually with the elasticated waist too. And then you've got these options and then the simpler one. Cute, right? That, I wonder what that looks like when her hand's not in her pocket. I bet it looks like a dress. Again, with her hand in the pocket. <laughs> Disguising how long this actually is. It's a little misleading. Like, I feel like this part of the hem, the shortest part of the hem, should be, like, way up here, not way down here. But that's just me. Um, here is an easy knit top. Okay, we've just got a knit top with high-low hems and set-in sleeves. And then this funky, drapey one. Let's let me go closer look at that. That could be interesting to make. I probably would make it shorter still. And are these? No, those aren't seams. So it's like slightly off the shoulder cap. Let's zoom in on that. That's cool. I think that would actually make a really great yoga top. Right? I mean, they aren't selling it as that, but it certainly looks good over her leggings. Cute. All right. I've seen this one on their Instagram page. It is a wrap top. You know, I love the ruffle detail. Um, it's got set-in sleeves or a dolman sleeve. Um, it's also got, you can see a little bit of pleating detail here if she moved her hair out of the way, um, or plain without any pleating detail, and also this flutter sleeve as an option. So lots of good options there. Let's see them all line drawings. Cute. Yeah, oh, then the ruffle goes to the back. Yeah, this one's really sweet. It's not a true wrap though, because these are separated. So you just, I guess it like snaps or closes somehow. Um, thread, button, ribbon. So it must button closed and then you tie the ribbon around. Cute though, right? Really sweet. Oh, it's not ribbon, it's self fabric. I don't know where the ribbon goes. It goes in there somewhere. All right, now we've got more shirts. Collared button downs with some kind of like patches or something. Um, wow, okay. Top stitch pockets or these deep side um, slits or just basic. But again, a dropped shoulder. I like the tie. They didn't position it that way on the line drawings, but the tie is cute. Oh, see, there it is, untied. 
little boxy. We only get the one view sewn. Um, okay, my goodness, you guys, there's still like four or five more. Okay, um, here is a top skirt and pants. Again, with the separates, love a good separate. Um, we've got these pajama pants. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, the one pocket's a little strange, but um, wide leg, drapey pants. Um, this cowl neckline top and a skirt with a ruffle. Oh, and a, t a tie on the side or tie in the center. What's with the one pocket? I'm not, I'm not digging that one. Um, cute though. See how they, it looks like a dress, but it's not. And they tied it up here on the side, I guess. That's cute. Cute little outfit. A little, I don't know, matronly? Maybe the length makes it look a little old. Or maybe it's her shoes. Are those Cinderella's see-through shoes? Awesome. Okay. Next up, Mrs. Sportswear, it says. We have got, ooh, a very interesting... Okay, so we've got a princess sleeve and a, or a princess bodice, a raglan sleeve, and a ruffle. Um, kind of a lot going on there. It's got a, a mini pencil skirt, and that's the same. And then we've got some pants with a lot of waistband. This whole styling with the fabrics and everything is not doing it any justice. All right, let's see her. Yeah, it's just really hard. She must be a dancer. Um, it's really hard to visualize this looking anything other than like cheap. Um, but I got to imagine that, yeah, the fit of this is going to be excellent um, because of the princess seams. Even the... Raglan sleeve, I think, is really flattering. Um, and then, you know, there's lots of options for the bottom half. Well, not in this pattern, but just in general. You could just do like a ruffle here, or you could add this bell sleeve or nothing. Um, but, yeah, this this all just, no. It also just didn't sew very well. I don't know why they chose those fabrics. I mean, look at all this puckering. Um, but this I think could be really nice and very, very flattering. The top. Alrighty. Oh, lovely. Another asymmetrical top. <laughs> you guys, I think every time you see an asymmetrical top from now on, you're going to be like, Lindsay's going to hate that. Um, okay. Well, there it is. Not much to say for this whole thing. I don't know. I guess those could be comfortable. Look how low rise they are, though. That is really low rise. And here we are with the one pocket again. Um, these are wide leg. I mean, in the right kind of fabric, not in camo print, maybe these could be cool. Like, I get where they're going with the sandal and all of that. This is just a no. Anything this tight is just a no. <laughs> Oh, but the pants could be cool. Um, let's see her. You get what I mean? Like, it can be cool. This is just not flattering. I could dig the pants. All right, we've got kimono top and wrap pants or wrap pants or shorts. Okay, the top's a no. Wrap pants or shorts. I need to get my head around that. So I think that's cool. So it looks like 
do they get sewn down? I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of at a loss for words. My mind is not working. I'm trying to understand this concept. This I get. It must be tacked down somewhere because shorts like this, your whole thigh would just come out. So it's got to be tacked somewhere. I wonder if this is just an overlay or if it's like literally free and loose and you're, you know, you could just pull all this back and your whole leg would be exposed. Let's see how she models. Oh, wait, look. So we've got... What does that even mean? That is not helping me understand this pattern. I guess each... You step into here and then this comes around to the front and you tie it in little bows or one bow. Interesting, right? Are y'all getting it? Are y'all seeing how this works? Yeah, it legit wraps around and she just can pull her leg out at any time. <laughs> Easy access for... I don't even know what. But there's, I don't know. I'm confused. I can't tell if I like it. I can't tell what's going on. I think it could be cool in a different fabric. Uh, but I'm not sure if it looks matronly. What do you guys think? All right, now we've got a tunic, top, and pants. This is cool. Very chic. Pants, I like these pockets on the pants. Much happier than side seam pockets. Elasticated, and then just a basic top also with this. Oh, so the top and the tunic they're calling it are the same just shorter it's not a separate pattern piece for the top cool let's see her little modeling shots super cute right again the fabrics though i don't know about these fabrics cute I mean, she has to have a top on underneath that, right? Can we tell? I can't tell. Is it? It's, I don't think it's partially lined. It didn't indicate that in the drawings. Yeah. I don't know how that would work in a sheer fabric unless you wanted to let it all be sheer or wear a tank top underneath. I think. Is that the end? Oh, that's the end. Bummer. It's over. But boy, this ended up being a long video. Um, I didn't realize there were going to be so many new patterns. Well, um, as we did before, let me know what you guys think in general. If you are in line with me on this new collection, um, let me know what your favorites were. If you'll be buying any of these, just your general thoughts. Let's have a combo in the comments section. And until next time, I will see you all very soon. Bye.